Okay, it's Monday morning. I'm making my coffee, a little heavy cream. And some Cafe Bustella. Cafe Bustella, if you want to sponsor me, I would greatly appreciate that. We go through lots of your coffee. Lots of it here in culinary class. Well, at least the culinary instructor goes through lots of it. We're doing fruits and vegetables in my uh, culinary two class. So I'm putting together a near pod. Watched a couple videos this weekend and I've decided to try to use it today. So I started some stuff yesterday and then I'm finishing up this morning before class. Ba bam Here is my near pod. So uh, to kick it off, I've got a pole. Really, it's pretty easy. You just add slides. When you add slides, you can do all kinds of stuff. Video, web content, uh, slideshow, or you can go to activities. Do a time to climb. It's kind of like a, a little quiz, pop quiz, and then you have quizzes. You have matching pairs, open-ended question if you want to, collaborative board, uh, memory test. You can use Flipgrid. So what I've done is I've got a poll. What's my favorite vegetable? Just a little random to start off the class. That's going to kind of be the, um, oh, what do you call that? Uh, bell ringers. Uh, it's going to be a bell ringer. And then I've got a slideshow. So I've taken the PowerPoint and I've split it up uh, into fruits and vegetables. So fruits are first. We'll go through the, uh, the fruit slideshow. Then we'll have a quiz on fruits. Then we'll do a collaborative board on hydroponic, hydroponic farming. And the question is, what is, what is grown hydroponically? So they're going to be able to put some stuff into a uh, collaborative board. And then we do a slideshow on uh, vegetables and then a quiz on the vegetables. And I'm trying to think if I need to add anything else. I've got about 30 minutes before class, but I think this will get us the full hour of class. So I think I'm just going to stick with this. Um, unless uh, maybe I add one thing at the very end, which is kind of like, um, let's see what we've got exit ticket so let's do an open-ended question on fruits and vegetables you're on a deserted island what is the one fruit or let's say one vegetable you would want there you go all right dishes are done are you with me? Raise your hand if you're with me. I know you just came in. Let's go to root vegetables. That would be, um, well, I'm, I think I'm on Cameron, right? Yeah, Cameron. Give me an example of a root vegetable. Hunter just mentioned one, but maybe mention another one. A carrot is a root vegetable. Anybody else? Can, can anybody else think of a root vegetable? You guys know what's, what uh, mirepoix is? There are two root vegetables in mirepoix. One of them is a carrot and the other one is a... You might see them fried. I think Sonic sells them fried. Their rings. Onion rings. Yes, onions. Onions are. Those are roots. They grow off the root. Thank you, JL. So today I'm having students in the kitchen. I think they look good. Oh, yeah, they turned out good. You happy with those? Uh-huh. Yeah, there's some dice on them. All right, so let's take them and let's put them on a rack to cool. So these are the, the finished Dunkaroos. So she decided to put them on, uh, to go ahead and ice the cookies instead of having it as dunker, Dunkables. But they look great. Oh, it looks good.
Yeah, yeah. All right. Day two in the kitchen, and they made me a quesadilla. Homemade uh, tortilla, and we made some uh, muffins today. So basically we did uh, quick breads is what we did today. Uh, and I'm about to eat it and see what it tastes like. I bet it tastes really good. Mmm. That was good. Bacon and cheddar. I forgot to mention it's a little spicy. It's good. Because in season, the bacon was cake and spicy. Oh, you did? That's really good. You guys did a great job. That one was perfect. We're going to give it to the... You're going to give what teacher the baby one? Oh, Mar Mr. Marshall? <laughs> give him the baby one? Yeah. The yeah. biggest guy here, you're going to give yeah, the baby that's one. That's what we say. <laughs> Fun and challenging. So I've had um, kids in class on Tuesday and Thursday doing uh, some cooking, kind of like a club. And then get an email today, today's Thursday, that our uh, mayor has changed the, um, what is it, the protocol for um, uh, meetings and stuff uh, in the city to eight people, uh, no more than eight people. So now we're going to stop doing any in-school functions. So any clubs that are meeting, uh, football teams, basketball teams, stuff like that, I think have to stop after this week. Uh, so my uh, culinary club is no longer going to be, even though we're doing four kids, they want to completely not have it in school. So I, I understand, you know, they don't want to be responsible for an outbreak. But um, yeah. It's unfortunate. I was having having fun having the kids in here. Um, although one day they decided not to clean up and leave uh, while I was talking to a parent on the phone. So um, that was not fun. Um, but kids will be kids, right? What else have I been doing today? Uh, I've been putting together my um, uh, lesson plan for next week, which is uh, stock soups and sauces for my culinary two class, or two my two culinary two classes. And I'm going to be doing a um, uh, baking, intro to baking for my culinary three class. i got to get that done this week as well. Um, we sent out uh, mass emails to all of our students and about their grades for kind of the midterm of the semester. And um, I've been getting emails <laughs> like all yesterday afternoon and today um, from parents either thanking me or not real happy. But that's kind of the territory. Uh, it's been super fun. Um, now I'm getting ready to go to a meeting, and it's just like meeting, meeting, meeting. It's always something. It's, there's a lot of red tape and a lot of uh, a lot of work to do in this job. Um, whoever says it's easy, they're lying to you. All right, so I'm getting ready for class. It's uh, Friday morning. We're doing Nearpod. We're doing uh, a few other things. Getting ready for the quiz. I'm excited that I already have one kid in here and it's eight o'clock, it's time for class and I, and I already have one kid. Isn't that awesome? Who got it? Cole! Okay, I left the kids with a video. It's an easy week, it's my birthday. It's Thanksgiving week. So I figure, let's just make it an easy week. They're getting ready for uh, soups and stocks next week. So I'm gonna have them do a stock with the uh, turkey bones. Walking away to get my coffee. More Cafe Bustella. See, I'm showing them a beef noodle soup. Taiwanese beef noodle soup video. A three one ratio of maybe a soybean based on jam versus a Fried in the now frying pan. Now we got pan. the chicken all shredded up. We're going to add it to the soup. Now the longer this simmers, guys, the better. Look at how nice and hot this is. Let it simmer as long as you can because those flavors really develop and it just makes it that much better. 
Now you can garnish this up with a number of things. I like to use green cabbage, put a little bit on top. It really goes well. You can do cilantro. So that once you are starting with the soup, you have everything ready and it's going to go really fast. So I have uh, one onion here that I'm just gonna peel. Well, first. <laughs> And then it's up to you how you want to slice it. I prefer to um, slice mine into these fine um, slices, <laughs> but you could also cube the onion if you prefer smaller bits of onion in the soup. You can add in the rice. So it shouldn't take you much longer than um, about two minutes for the mushrooms it's looking good already so I'm gonna continue adding the rest of the ingredients now I'm gonna add in my shredded turkey so you can use any leftover turkey whether that's uh, breast or uh, thigh or any part really notice so how dry it looks so she's gonna fresh it back up in that soup. In the soup also I didn't season the soup must a couple of people uh, a little bit of inspiration there, but there was, what, four soups that you could do other than the beef noodle, unless you're cooking beef for uh, um, Thanksgiving. Um, three three recipes, and that's just with a simple search, um, it kind of shows you what you can do with the turkey. Now, you can add or, or subtract anything from these recipes. If you don't like beans in yours, you don't have to put beans. Um, but it's very simple, it's easy to do. If you guys do it this week, then you won't have to do it next week. Just make sure you record it with, with uh, pictures, um, and then that way you just turn it in next week. All right? How does that sound? Do you think you guys can handle that? I think you can.